Welcome to another podcast of the current situation at Manchester United. Quickly in this video, um, in relation to England's selection for the Euros, um, Gareth Southgate has left out Marcus Rashford, both Marcus Rashford, um, Jadon Sancho, and he's left out Jordan Hinds. I don't care about Jordan Hinds, but he's left out those players, and I mentioned these players because these are the especially Rashford and Henderson. These are the core players that he has usually been using for the years that he's been manager or coach for England. Now, here's the thing. A lot of persons are not happy with Marcus Rashford being left out. Now, I'm not a big supporter of Gareth Southgate. You see me? I'm not a big... If, if there are a lot of... If there were a hundred persons that supported... Gareth Southgate, I'm not one of them 100 personal. I don't support anything that he does for England. I think he's a woeful coach. And the fact that I heard that he was linked to being manager of Manchester United, don't, 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 try to, don't try to give me a coronary heart attack with that. Don't, don't even try that. But I am going to back him on this. Yes, he, Marcus Rashford should not be selected in England squad. Not. This was the, one of his worst seasons yet, man. Look at the forwards that have been selected for England. I'm going to get to Sandra and Stefan. Don't worry, sir. They have had better seasons. In the words of Gareth Southgate, I don't know if you want his words, but in his words, in his own verbiage, he said that there are players that have done better than him. And they have. Marcos Washford wasn't pulling up trees last season. I don't even think he had what? Like I said in a, a previous video, I don't even think he had at least 15 or 12 goals in our competition. And for the most, the majority of the season, man, he's been woeful in his performances. Screw the goals. Even if he's scoring goals, he's been woeful. He doesn't look appeasing on the eye. He doesn't look motivated on the eye. It's like he has lost. It's, it's, like, uh, it's like he's gotten tired of football, man. It's like he's trying to try, you know, it's like he's trying to, you know, um, you know, divorce football or something. It's, it's, he, he doesn't love it anymore. And he can't, see how, he can't see that by the way he plays. So I don't, I don't understand how people are su surprised that Marcus Rashford was left out. Yes, man, he should be left out. And he is. <laughs> now, in terms of Jen Sancho, man, Jen Sancho in the first half of the season was on the periphery you think is me he was not in the favor of hurting out and some person may say hey, rightly so him god is the manager tom was in our say sorry he was on the bench yeah he he not, not on the bench he was ex he was ex he was extinct from the squad is me he was nowhere to be seen in it like like there are legends that say that he was banned from the cafeteria you couldn't even have lunch with the other manchester united players that's how bad it was, the relationship between him and Eriten Hawk. He, 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 was, he was training by himself. But when he went to Dortmund from January straight up to me, he was the vital focal figure in Dorm, 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 I was about to say Dortmund. Dortmund's attack. He's the main focal figure. And he's a player that Manchester United couldn't, couldn't even utilize for the two years he's been here. Up until he had that spot with everything out. I know he's a crucial player in the final against Real Madrid in the Champions League final. And he's not in the final selection of the England squad. Why is that? I don't get that, man. I don't want to be, oh, you know, he, he, he had a half a good season, but the other half, the first half, is like in the Old Testament, he was trash in the Old Testament, you know, but in the New Testament, you know, he, he, he got a few, he got a, he had some good games. I mean, no, I don't want to be hearing that, bro. Select this guy. Now, let me tell you one, th why, uh, one theory of mine why I believe he was not selected, and I'm going to drop up right now. It's because Gareth Southgate doesn't like egos, and I don't think that is surprising. He doesn't like egos. He said the thing with Ertin Hag, and he's saying, you know, I don't want that, you know. I don't know how to circumvent that type of situation. I'm not the best at resolving conflict. I haven't took, I, haven't, I skipped my conflict re re resolution course, so of course I don't know how to, you know, you know, if that was supposed to come up, I don't know what to do with it. I'd be like, I'll, I'll look weak in the media 
if I succumb to, you know, if 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 Sancho go go call me out or something. So it's better just, you know, remove him from the squad and not include him. That's why I see. He wants he wants persons to have um individuality of course, but he doesn't want persons to have that much of an individuality to the to the point where it's clashing and egos in the dressing room, you see me. Um I don't think Gar Southgate is that type of guy to resolve it. Um, so he doesn't want that type of player in his squad. He wants good guys like Saka. He me. He want good guys like uh, Ari Kane is a good professional. Um, you know, good guys, man. Bowen, you know them guys, man. He doesn't want Sancho, man. Sancho is much of a personality, man. You know, you don't want that type of player in his squad. But the, despite that, he should be in that squad, man. You see me? So. Going back and again, I'm not going to be talking about Henderson. Nobody care about him. Sir. I'm going to. This is this is the, the point of this video. Stop talking about Rashford being should be selected. He should not be selected. He was woeful. He was trash. He was trash in the previous season. Yes, he was trash. I don't, dude. Again, man, I I I, I, I hate to say it, but even Ray, Ray, Ray Charles and Steve Warner can see that he has not been good last season in the Premier League. Are in all competition. In the few games, and I'll say this: in the few games that Amadeo has played last season, I would say he's performed performed better. No, Rashford had more GA goal and assist goal contribution, but in terms of performance, being an impact in the attack, I would say Amadeo was better in the few games he played. Yeah. So let me know your comments down below in the comment section, man. I know this is a, a, a I know a lot of persons like Marcus Rashford, and Marcus Rashford is a good you. But man, man, hey, man, you guys need to come out of your feelings, man, and, and stop being sentimental and come to the fact that the reality is that this brethren from Manchester United should not have been selected, and he is not, and he isn't. So don't, don't, uh, don't no, nah, man, you come out of your feelings, man. This guy should not be selected, man. But in, let me know your comments in the comment section. And as far as Sancho, do you believe that Jadon Sancho should have been selected in the England squad? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Um, as I've as I've stated, bro, you know, y'all know, say France is my side. I'm going with this with 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 my side in the Euros. Is it me? So, oh, let me touch on something real quick. What's up with Tony Cruz retiring so early? This virgin what, 34 and he's retiring from football after the uh, well he's retiring from he's retiring from uh, uh 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 from Real Madrid after the final and he's retiring retiring from football after Germany is represented in Euros. What's up with that man? Dude, you're just 34, you're not 38. As a dude, this virgin had like a com a past completion of over 90 in the whole entire season and the season not even over because him have the champions league final to go play and this guy is retiring from football what's up with that man i i'm not going to take no i'm going to say something controversial but not to take not that he's not taking it seriously but this is the guy that retired from germany a couple years back or three years back I know him go come back to play for Germany. No, he won't retire 34. No, he may revert that. He may renege on the decision made. But I think there's a lot of gas in the tank for him to go play at least 38. Man, why is he retiring now? This bridging is better than our midfield, uh, midfield man. Hands down. And he's 34. Not 24. He would sweep, man, he's probably the best midfielder right out there, so. Best, one of the best. But this is like the guy closest to Paul Scholes. He can shoot, him slow as hell, but he can shoot, he can pass. He's not, he's not a dribbler, let's not do that. But he's a great passer. He can, he can, man, he can spray passes, man. He can, you know, uh, what, what do you call it now? He can, uh. Yeah, he can pull strings like a like a mafia done, man. That's how good this guy was. He was and is. He's still good. He can start in Manchester United midfield. But anyway, if, let me know your comments on Marcus Rashford. 
and a be logical in your comments. We know say Rashford, we know deep down Rashford shouldn't be in the England squad. Let's not play, let's not kid ourselves about that. But if you feel if you have a if you have an angle that you want to pitch in my comment section as to why he should be in the squad, not that it's going to make him be in the squad anyway. But if you have a thought that you think say he should be in the squad, leave your comments in the comment section. Th secondly, do you believe Jaden Sancho should be again? Not that it's going to make a difference, but let me know your thoughts as it relates to Jaden Sancho being snubbed from being selected in the England squad. As far as Tony Cross, this is not a Real Madrid channel, but as far as Tony Cross, what's your thoughts on Tony Cross retiring from football, bro? I don't think he's. Dude, Hazard retiring at 32. Gareth Bale at 34. Retiring. This no, this Bridging one retiring from uh, 34. What's up, with Real Madrid players? Why well, you guys tired of success? You, tired of, you guys tired of winning or something? You guys are retiring early, man. You're falling out of love with football or what? I was just talking about Rashford falling out of football. He hasn't won stuff since... As he hasn't won significant stuff in his career. I know this Virgin, I, I know this guy is not playing like he loves football anymore. But anyway, comment down below in the comment section. Like and subscribe to the channel. Leave your uh, comments down below in the comment section. And hit the bell as well so that you can... Open so that you can be notified on each upload lost my tongue there and i'll see you in the next video podcast i believe my next video podcast will be the preview of our fa cup final game against man city just a a a, a, a rev a, not a reverse a repeat of last season fa cup final i hope we don't we don't i hope we don't concede at least we may concede but i hope we don't concede under 10 seconds that's embarrassing comment so in the comment section and i see you until then i'm out